Uh, turning now to Harriman High School, where the number of international students uh, is booming. The learning gap, though, made larger by the language barrier, is something that those officials there say they never could have predicted or prepared for, which is why now they're taking this help of this device and this learning to make things a whole lot smoother. New specialist Kara Bracken with that story. What well, started as something the principal says he learned about in a conference and decided to pilot is something so small that is a must have now making a big difference in education for dozens of international students. How is school going? Bien. Good. Good. Ryan Yellis is a rising junior at Harriman High School. Coming from Venezuela, August marks her ninth month in the United States and schooling in Utah. Que somos emigrantes. They're immigrants. They're immigrants. Um, no sé, pues. Vinimos por un futuro. They came here for a better future. Mi mamá, mi papá y yo. My mom, my dad, and myself. For students like Ryan Yellis coming to America knowing no English, the transition into a new country and culture is challenging enough on its own. Add in the language barrier, and you can imagine how tough school would be. Within the last two years, we've probably picked up 200 immigrants into Harriman, which was, I couldn't have prepared for what was coming. It's just this need to equalize the playing field so that they ha would have access to the same education. Harriman High's principal Kornberg says while teachers were trying to help students best they could, they needed something that could meet the student exactly where they were. No los usan todas las clases, pero sí me parecen chéveres y me ayudan. I don't use them in all of my classes, but I do think that they're awesome and they do help With me With the help of something that looks and functions just like an AirPod, it's changing the game in the classroom for international students and teachers. Why do you like that class? Because of health. Translating what the teacher is saying into the language and dialect the student speaks. In Ryan Yellis's case, the Venezuelan dialect of Spanish right onto their phone in real time. The teacher can have a device in and you have six, six or seven kids out there that it's translating right to their desk and when they ask questions, the student will give a Spanish answer and it translates back to the teacher. I tried this out, asking gotcha. questions including asking what's been the hardest subject to learn. ¿En cuál clase? En historia. No entender la clase. I didn't understand the class. Antes. Antes de tener los audífonos. I didn't understand the class before I had the headphones. Luis, also a rising junior from Venezuela, says the translating AirPods would have helped him a lot with school, especially science. Yeah, biology. Biology because they use a uh, technical language for most of the stuff that you see in class and probably if you are not a native speaker, a native English speaker, you're not going to understand most of it. Learning the language by way of dictionary and the TV. Uh, it, was, it, it was by accident actually. It was just me seeing TV and not knowing how to change the English of the series and movies and stuff to, to Spanish. So. I had to learn. Sat on the on the couch and see eight seasons of The Walking Dead, <laughs> completely on English. So as not to be a crutch, and because there's not enough devices to go around to all international students, the principal says whoever is new to the country and struggling with the language is issued a device first. Does From there, they're encouraged to learn the language as quickly as possible, so they can return them back to the pool. What are we going to do to help them? You know, at first I would hear people say, oh, yes, we'll help those kids. They're not those kids. They're our kids. Are you hearing it in the earpiece? Yeah. See? Okay. The principal says there have been around 200 students who are brand new within the last couple years, and they only have 50 devices. This past year, the school applied for grants, and while they did receive funding for the devices, because each device set ranges from $250 to $300, the hope is they can gain around 200 more devices to split between teachers and students. If you'd like to learn more about the need here, you're encouraged to visit jordaneducationfoundation.org or reach out to your local school district. For now, I'm Kara Bracken reporting.